In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Minecraft mods without coding. The first thing you wanna do is you want to open up any web browser and look up mCreator just like so. Then go to the official mCreator.net website right over here. And this is a free add-on or mod maker that you could use in order to make mods on Minecraft Java or Bedrock without coding knowledge. So let's go ahead and press on download uh, mCreator right over here. So you're able to download it regardless of whether you're on a Mac, Linux, or Windows device. So I'm personally on a Windows device. So I will go ahead and install it for Windows right over here. So I would install the EX installer right over here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So once you went ahead and downloaded that, all you want to do is you want to go to the top right and press over here where it says download unverified file. And we basically need to go ahead and just download this right over here. All right, guys. So once that finished downloading, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on it just like so. And it may ask your computer if it can make changes. So please go ahead and press on yes. I apologize if my screen is black. But anyways, guys, here we are. And then it's going to say welcome to the M creator setup. So all you want to do is you want to press on next. Then you want to go ahead and read all the terms and conditions right over here then go ahead and press on I agree then it is going to let you know exactly where in your device it is going to download it then go ahead and press on install it will now begin to install M Creator 2025 and while that's downloading let me tell you guys about simple game hosting simple game hosting offers affordable and high quality minecraft servers where you're easily able to upload mods and mod packs to your minecraft server this is a 24 7 server that has unlimited slots so you can have your whole entire like friend group over there without any issues and you can customize every single aspect of it you can add plugins you can make a crossplay java only bedrock only etc there's also dozens of video guides showing you how to do everything along with 24 7 customer support to answer any of your questions so guys if this sounds interesting feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right guys but eventually it is going to say complete and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on finish just like so and now it is automatically going to open it up all right guys so here we are in m creator and by the way there's like a bunch of other tutorials that you guys can go ahead and view in the official m creator um social medias so we got YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, etc., GitHub. So if you really want to learn more and like master this, then you have all the tools right over here. But we can go ahead and press on new workspace just like so. So check this out, guys. You can make a new Forge mod. You could also make a fabric mod, a Forge mod, or even a quilt mod as well. You guys could also do like a data pack or a resource pack or even a Minecraft add-on. So obviously, uh, I'm not going to show you how to use every single feature in this video. This is more like an introduction video explaining the basics. But yeah, you can legit do everything over here. So let's just go ahead and create a new workspace and call it test mod. It's going to let you know the workspace folder and you guys can customize every single aspect of it. Then you guys can go ahead and press on create new workspace. All right. So after you went ahead and finished loading in, here is how the interface does look like. So you guys are able to go ahead and add mod elements. For example, you guys could add like a new biome. You guys could add new armors and stuff like that. So there really is a lot of great options that you guys have. You guys could add things like paintings and check this out. It is legit going to walk you through every single step. So we're going to be calling it test painting just like so. Then go ahead and press on create new painting and you guys can go ahead and change the painting tile the painting author the painting width, etc and then you guys can go ahead and just press on the painting and actually import like a texture for you to actually go ahead and use so as you're able to tell it is going to walk you through every single aspect and over here we have like the top menu so you guys could add more elements as well for example particles plants potion effects procedures now you guys will need to go ahead and get used to using this interface but the thing about it is that it requires little to no coding so in my opinion that is a major plus and this makes it incredibly beginner friendly and then up here we have more functions for example we can create textures we can create animated textures we can import textures import item textures etc like that but yeah you guys could also export the mod over here on like this orange icon just like so in order to actually run it whether you're trying to run it on bedrock or java edition so obviously it will depend on what type of mod you're making in this instance we're doing like a neoforge mod so it will actually work for neoforge of course on minecraft java edition so yeah uh, i hope that this video was able to give you a brief introduction into how to make a minecraft mod without coding if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial